You guys remember the Intellivision Amico? A system spearheaded by Tommy Tallarico. He roped in some of his old shiny cohorts as well to get involved with this. A system that was going to revolutionize video games. It was initially supposed to be a console for retro gamers, but then somewhere along the way it became a console for families and casual people. It had this amazing controller that could only be replicated with this Intellivision Amico controller until they decided, hey, you can also use your cell phone with it. So that kind of you know wore some of the shine off the controller. But this was going to be amazing. There was people talking about how awesome this was going to be. Initially, I thought it had potential when they were talking about the old franchises they were going to bring back, but quickly everything unraveled with this. Things spiraled out of control. It became immediately apparent that this was some sort of scam. They were asking for large amounts of money and never producing a product, showing games that looked like shovelware that would belong on something like the Nintendo Wii, but making them flagship titles for their system. Of course, there's been tons of money lost from would-be investors. They've filed for bankruptcy. You know, They cleared out their offices. There's probably some tax schemes going on as well and then a company called bbg entertainment came along and tried to clean up the mess well the intellivision amico is alive and well folks because you can see here this is shark shark one of the flagship titles for the intellivision amico now it's available on all home consoles such as the xbox or the nintendo switch like we're playing here so was the intellivision amico just the nintendo switch all along and it was just a way for them to get a bunch of money from would-be customers and unsuspecting people that this was a giant scam i mean clearly it was but i wanted to take a look at this game i don't have any sort of nostalgia for intellivision or shark shark i was a little shark shark swimming around my dad's balls when intellivision was worth a damn so we're going to take a look at this today. I spent $15 on it. Hopefully I make some money back on this video. We have a voyage mode, which is like where you beat the game. You have a versus mode, which is you play against other people. A multiplayer mode, which I guess is just like versus mode. A high score mode, Hall of Fame, some options as well. They really went all out with this game. So we're going to pick our fishy here. There's only one, there's only one fish you can play as right at the start. There's only one fish and one color. You have to play the game in order to uh, in order to unlock more fish. So I am ready. I did play one level, but I'll play it again here. You can see there's a whopping, a whopping 12 levels of pure shark shark content that will keep you entertained for hundreds of hours. Ooh, instructions. So that's how you move the fish. What, what about the dial on the Intellivision controller? I thought I needed that. So you can eat a bunch of stuff. You eat fish. Okay. It's a really good stock background track that's been playing here. I'm sure I'm sure that wasn't composed by Thomas himself. You can see here, you know, this game really pushing the limits of just video games in terms of visual quality. We have a disgusting blurred out background. We have some PNG looking fish with some light animation. You know, I will say the foreground looks okay. We've got to eat 30 fish without dying in order to beat the level here. You move around with the controller. You actually don't have to uh, press a button to eat the fish. You just you just kind of run into them. I like to press buttons, though, to see what they do. Here's something interesting. How do you think you pause this game? Now, more than likely, you would say the start button or the plus button because that's what you know normal video games have. But I'm hitting the plus button here, the start button, and nothing is happening. You pause by pressing B. B. Yes, I'm playing with Joy-Cons and single Joy-Cons because this game isn't worth pulling out a real controller for. Who decided at either Intellivision or BBG Entertainment to make the pause button B? Whoever did, I'm not saying they should be fired, but at the very least, a stern reprimanding. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't let this go away. This this needs to be addressed here. Oh, there's a pearl. I can get a pearl necklace. Excuse me, shark, shark. Like, I, I, I get it, okay? I, I get that this game, I'm obviously being a bit tongue-in-cheek. I get that this game is for children and stuff like that. The problem is, this is a flagship title for the system that you are constantly showing off. This is what you're making your 45-plus-year-old white males that your target demographic was play and get excited about and be like, this is so amazing. This is going to sell systems. People are going to want this. I'm not buying a $200 damn system to play Shark Shark. 
Oh, see, like, and that's bullshit. The, the the freaking clownfish just came out of nowhere and landed straight on me. How are you supposed to know that? I'm a small child. You have five lives to get through the game. I wonder if it um if it resets after you beat a, a segment of levels here. I really don't want to find out, but I might because I am curious about that. Do I have to beat the whole 12 levels with just my five lives? But, like, the thing of it is I'm already bored with this. Like, I'm already bored. I've seen what the game has to offer. I eat fish. I go around. I eat fish that are smaller than me. I try to get points that mean absolutely nothing. Nobody is going to play this game with me. Like, imagine inviting some friends over. Like, bro. trying Like, oh, man, let's play Call of Duty. Let's play that. Nah, bro. Let's play Shark Shark. We got to play Shark Shark. This is, the, this is the game that's changing video games. Get away from me. Oh, we got the shield. We eat the shield, and now we are protected. It's like the condom for the fish. It says you can bite the shark's tail. I really don't want to try that, though, because I don't want to lose another life. I'm trying to get this through this as soon as possible. Eat the seahorse there. Crustacean. That is a crustacean. See, you learn stuff. Fant or fantastic. Oh, you're so punny. You are so punny. Like, how long did it take to make this game? Why have I been waiting for Shark Shark? I mean, I haven't been waiting for Shark Shark. But why have people been waiting for Shark Shark for literally years? I said that like Dreamcast guy. Literally. But, like, literally years, people have been waiting to play this game. And it's like, why? There was some slowdown right there. Things are getting a little bit crazy. Oh, I got stabbed by the jellyfish. Okay, so my I don't have to play it because my lives... Your lives reset. So, unless you're just an absolute idiot... Who's never, I feel like once you, once you figure out, you just float around, like, unless you, you don't have a thumb, like you should be able to beat this game in one sitting. Let's try to grab the shark's tail though. That, that seems to be a thing that they said I could do. <laughs> did, did, did I do it? I, I don't know. I got, I got 200 points for something. Um, I don't know if that was for, oh, there's the electric eel. Shock me like an electric eel. Ooh, girl. Who sang that song? Let me know in the comments down below who sang that song. But like I'm I'm already bored. I'm bored. There's there's nothing to draw me into this. Is there a boss battle that's kind of cool at the end of this level? I guess we'll stick around and see that. Hopefully you're sticking with me. Let me know if you're still here in the comments section down below. Make a timestamp for this as well. So that people know this is a quality, this is a quality video. Of a craptastic game. Oh, things are getting crazy. Can I eat the seahorse? No, I can kind of float through them, though. All right, here we go. The boss level. I know it's a boss. It's going to be something cool, something different. Got an under underwater sea helmet. The final voyage. Here we go. The final level of this voyage. Here comes the boss. I got to eat 30 fish. So that's what this game is. You eat 30 fish, and then you move on to the next level <coughs> that... It's pretty much the exact same, except that it ramps up the difficulty a little bit. If I'm a kid, like, imagine imagine buying this for your child. Like, when I was a child, I was playing, like, Sonic the Hedgehog, Super Mario, Mortal Kombat, you know, video games. Not Flash games for my phone that... God, oh my. This sucks. This is, this is why Intellivision went out of business. You know, forget the forget the mismanagement of funds. Forget the fact that the system was overpriced. Forget the fact that they lied to people constantly. Forget the fact that they, you know, stole people's money. This is why it failed. Because of Shark Shark. This, this, this God, I'm done with this. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you didn't, that's fine. Because I didn't enjoy making it, honestly. We can go back to the main menu. It saves our progress. whoopity do. Am I in the Hall of Fame? I didn't make the Hall of Fame, but you know what? I feel like I feel like I can live with that. Let me know if you plan on picking up Shark Shark in the comment section down below. And as always, guys, thank you for... Uh... Oh, wait, there are online leaderboards. Oh, God, I know DJ Slope. Stop playing this, Slope's Game Room. Stop playing this game. Nobody should play this game. It's terrible. Did I make this online? No, it's only... Oh, it's only, like, the top... Three, I guess. Oh shit! I'm number three. Look at me go! I'm the man. I'm the best player of Shark Shark in the world. And as always, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later.